morning everyone i've just made myself an amazing coffee is there anything more satisfying than seeing all the layers and then just giving it a good old mix up oh that is literally food porn to me i hope you are all having a lovely day i I'm in quite a good mood this morning. I've made myself my coffee and I've just filmed a new reel that's gonna be going live on my feed. I think you already would have seen it. And I really enjoy filming reels, but my goodness, do they take a lot of work. I'm definitely not someone that can do them quite regularly. I don't know how people do. I think people that do reels probably don't do like other things. Like YouTube's obviously a very big time consuming thing as well. Um, but I see a lot more reward from that. Like obviously it's like a 35, 40 minute vlog that goes up, whereas with a reel, it's about an hour to two hours worth of work for 15 seconds which is a lot but i do enjoy filming them on the odd occasion but i'm feeling really cozy today i'm wearing my favorite river island cozy set it's like got matching <laughs> matching trousers which i absolutely love it's very 80s and i'm kind of here for that vibe so i've got a couple of home updates to go through with you guys i I'm getting really excited about the bedroom now. The bed isn't arriving for a little while now, um, although the delivery date is inching forward a little bit. So I'm really, really hoping that it will arrive sooner than they estimated. I think delivery companies sometimes do that where they like tell you estimated wait time eight weeks and then it's only six weeks, because let's be honest, you'd much rather be told it's an estimated wait of eight and it actually be six rather than an estimated wait of six and it's seven, you'd be livid. Um, so yeah, so that's really, really exciting. Not coming for a little while, but I'm just, I'm hoping, I'm manifesting it that it is gonna come sooner than we expect. But I have a few other little updates to show you, which I, I can't even tell you how excited I am about them. But before we go through the home updates, first of all, I just wanted to chat through my shelves with you because one of my favorite things is that whenever i'm going to close this door because i hate <laughs> i hate being able to see the front door um one of my favorite things is that whenever i get something new like new shoes or a new bag the first question is always so where's it going to go on the shelves and this is just why i love you guys like i love it i absolutely love it so obviously you would have seen how many vlogs ago would it have been now a couple of vlogs ago my new little H&M purchase. Oh gosh, yeah, it would have been about, how long ago would it have been now that you would have seen that? It's always so difficult working out. I think maybe a week and a bit, maybe two weeks ago, you would have seen my new little H&M number, which I absolutely love. She's so, so gorgeous. Um, and I basically need to rearrange the shelves a little bit. So obviously I had my Radley baby come in, so that had to like rearrange the shelves. And I've now rearranged the shelves to make room for the H&M baby. So they kind of, changed quite a bit recently they are looking a little bit different than they were before um so down here i think this is kind of all the same um this is new actually i've had quite a lot of these in pr parcels recently so this is one that i got from Fay candle ages ago last year which i absolutely love and then recently i feel like it's quite a trend at the moment for prs to send them over so i got sent this one in a package that came with like some toothpaste and stuff and she's actually a little bit burnt here because I I don't know if you saw there was a photo I did a while ago and it was like in the bath and I put loads of candles out but I didn't actually burn these but because the tea light was so close it started to melt her arm but oh well and then this came in a little PR parcel from River Island this is a really big one and she's gold and she's absolutely stunning um I was tempted to put her in the living room but I feel like I've got enough candles in the living room now so I quite like how they look all together like my three naked ladies and this is obviously my one liner day book that i got from the river island pr parcel um and this pandora candle which is new as well which i don't want to burn because it smells absolutely incredible it's called pandora lavandula and i don't know if this is something they sell i highly doubt it um but it came in a parcel and it smells absolutely insane and i don't want to burn it because it's the kind of candle that actually fills a room with scent without needing to be burnt so absolutely amazing so this little space here is where I'm thinking of putting the H&M baby. I've had a bit of a play around with the colours as well because I noticed that obviously I've got brown, brown, brown and I feel like it's very obvious when the browns are all together so I've kind of like pulled them apart a little bit and tried to split them up. I feel like when blacks are close together it's not as bad um, but yeah I've tried to split apart the browns a little bit and just kind of like keep them keep them like spread out so it doesn't look too clustered but yeah I'm gonna be putting my little H&M number here because I think 
she's very pretty let me fix the straps <laughs> She's very, very pretty, but still is fairly neutral. So I didn't want to like put her in a cupboard. I feel like she deserves a place. And I think that looks absolutely amazing. I really, really like that. Um, gosh, my rail is very full at the moment. I need to go through some clothes that are on there and have a sort out of that. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with how the shelves are looking. I think this is a nice little setup for me. You guys know they're probably going to change soon. Knowing me, I'm going to switch them about. But this is what they look like for now. Before I do anything else though, now that I've noticed how full the <laughs> rail is, it's really annoying me. So I'm gonna sort that out and have a bit of a clear through and like put things away and like things in my wardrobe that can actually go in my wardrobe and sort out like what I'm returning. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Cue the time lapse. we are much better i always like it when the rail just has like five or six things like some feature items that i'm really enjoying styling up at the moment or like i want to style more or just to kind of like remind me of these things there and i like to keep it very neutral because obviously i do have the other wardrobe as well so i can put things in there that are like maybe a bit like bulky or bigger or that i don't want to have as on display um so yeah much better okay so talking about some home stuff as I said with the bedroom I'm starting to get very excited about it now and I have actually been getting some new in pieces which I thought I would show you and I'm I'm about to share quite a big home secret with you guys with how I like find nice furniture and stuff um, so I always get questions about like where I got my furniture from or like how do you find nice things that are like quite affordable and things like that and I'm going to share my biggest secret with you guys, which isn't really a secret because a lot of people know about it, but Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is actually such a great place to find furniture and it's one where like you can find some really amazing pieces for really, really affordable prices. It's somewhere that I've both bought and sold on quite a lot, um, but I do find that you have to be very, very vigilant like to find nice pieces. Um, you do have to be either have notifications set up or you have to be on it quite a lot um like the one of the things i'm about to show you it had only been listed for 15 minutes when i messaged the person and she already said she was like right you're the first person to message so like if you're gonna come collect it that's fine but please tell me if you cancel because i have like six of the people that have been messaging and apparently in the time that it took for us to like negotiate and i think it was about they'd only been out for an hour and she said that she had over 20 messages about them um so it's one of those things where you can find some absolute gems but you do have to be quite vigilant and i would definitely recommend checking it out um if you are looking for some new furniture because as i said it's just a really really great way to find affordable pieces and it's a great way to earn a bit of pocket money i've sold quite a few pieces on there that are just you know like little side tables or like poofs i will say it's quite hard to, to sell big furniture because people have to hire a van or you know get mover people around and that's obviously a bit difficult um so with like small furniture items items 100% recommend at Facebook marketplace so I'm going to show you a couple of things I picked up all of which are from Facebook marketplace which I genuinely cannot believe I cannot believe that <laughs> so the first thing that I got was some bedside tables and as I said in my last home vlog I have been looking for some bedside tables and I thought I would just go with like the Hemneys ones from Ikea because they're quite simple um, but I think they'd go well and then I saw these on Facebook marketplace and uh, these are the ones that I literally they were listed 15 minutes um, before I messaged and I'm so in love with them. Are these not just the cutest things in the world? So they are in immaculate condition, like absolutely immaculate. There are no marks, no scuffs. We picked them up actually. It was a really like big fancy house. So I have a feeling these were probably just like in a guest room that hasn't been used, you know, that they're redoing or something like that. Or maybe they're turning it into an office um so yeah these are absolutely fabulous like inside it's just absolutely fine um i might need to screw these on a little bit tighter but they look absolutely gorgeous and i think they're gonna go so so well in the there we go in the bedroom because they really really match the vibe the door the like knobs on them are literally the same color as the knobs that are on the chest of drawers that i've got and yeah 
I love them, they're the perfect height, perfect width. I'm so, so excited about them. I cannot believe what steel I got these for. What I will do, if you do like them, I'll see if I can find some similar ones online to link below for you guys. But obviously, as I said, these were from Facebook Marketplace, so they are something that I don't have an exact link, but I'll see if I can find something similar, because I know people get upset if I don't. Um, and then the other thing to show you guys, Dun, 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 is this new chair so as i said i wanted a new dumping chair for alex and i wanted something a bit whiter um i was either going to go for like a ghost chair or something and then i stumbled upon this on facebook marketplace and i was like okay my mind is made up you've sold me this is the one this is it and this again has barely been used apparently it was just a show chair so like it was barely used i picked it up from a lady who lives about half an hour away and yeah it looks absolutely gorgeous i really really like it the seats look a really nice creamy kind of color which is lovely and it is rattan but it's white which i've never really seen before and i think that looks really really nice it's a nice way to kind of tie in the rattan in that room um and also i think this is going to go so nicely with the bedside tables obviously it's like placed right next to one of them in the room so it'll be like this which i think looks really really nice so those are going to go in the bedroom I feel like I'm going to put them in now, but obviously it's not going to look quite complete because the new bed hasn't arrived, but I can't wait, like, another month to put these in. Um, so yeah, so that's my biggest home secret, is to look on Facebook Marketplace. Also, I've heard that eBay, eBay Local, I think it's called, is good. Actually, that not i've heard i've used it myself i think that was where i got the it is yeah so you know the rattan chair that's in the bedroom i actually got that from ebay local um and it was like a pickup from someone about 40 minutes away which is a fair like journey when you're doing a round trip but to get something so affordable like i think i bought the bedside tables for like 40 pounds and this chair for 40 as well so that's £80 in total for two new bedside tables and a gorgeous chair. So I'm so, so happy with that. I think that is just an absolute bargain. So I'm going to set them up in the bedroom and see what they look like. I cannot wait to start to like see it properly come together. Obviously, as I said, the bed's not there, so it's not going to be complete. But it's just going to look a little bit more tied together. And it's just going to start to resemble what I want it to resemble, which makes me very, very happy. So just in case you need a bit of a reminder of what this room currently looks like. So this is the rattan chair that I was talking about. And this is kind of what it looks like 90% of the time. Just a few of Alex's like clothes strewn over the top. Um, but yeah, so I think the bedside tables are going to lighten this area a little bit in that chair. Because it's just very dark in here. The sun doesn't really hit here directly. Um, so this room can look quite dark. So... And also my bedside table is just always crammed. I definitely need some drawers to put things in because that is just, <laughs> it's getting too much. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to bring them in. They're gonna look so, so good. Okay, so that is looking so much better. Obviously, please ignore the bed frame because that isn't gonna stay and it doesn't go that well with this bed frame, but I can't wait for the new one to arrive. And then my side is looking a hell of a lot better as well because I've managed to put everything in the drawers, which is great because it means that I now can actually keep it all very, very neat and fit my phone on there. All we have is my water, my pillow spray, and my Lumi light, and that is just absolutely fabulous. One thing that I really like as well is that now that Alex has some drawers, we can put a few of his things away into the drawers and keep it really, really nice and neat in here. Okay, so this is looking so much clearer now. I've also decided to take away the Parisian print that was there, and I've pushed this over just a little bit. You can see the marks where it was before. Just pushed it over a little bit so that it is a bit more central. I think that looks quite nice. I do kind of wish this was white. I think it would lighten up the room a little bit, but I'm okay with it being gray. I'm okay, and I think when the new bed frame arrives, it's gonna look quite nice and work quite well. Now I've kept Alex's tray of man stuff because let's be honest, 
he needs it and there's not really much I can do and it's a bit inoffensive so I'm happy with that being there. I'm not really sure what to do with this side, I don't know how to style this side up. If you have any advice let me know what do you think should go on here because I always like seeing what you guys think. Do you think the mirror works as well? I don't really know if I want to keep the mirror because we do have quite a lot of mirrors in this room. I don't know if it's like necessary. Um, so yes this is looking so much better around here. So what's going to change next? As I said the pillows are going to go. I'm going to get different pillows. We've got our new, sorry cushion, these cushions are going to go. We've got our new Lily Silk silk pillowcases on which I think look really really nice I like the like envelope kind of flappy style that's going on um I think I'm gonna get rid of that little plant there because that's just a bit unnecessary it doesn't really need to be there obviously that's our wash bag so that does need to be there these prints I'm thinking of changing the frames to black frames so that it goes a little bit more and as I said I'm going to change the rattan lampshade to something just plain and white I think um just so that it looks a bit more like inoffensive and kind of like neutral um, and then here we've just got the the mirror and I have now decided actually to put our dressing gowns on the back of the door with a couple of command hooks so that they're easy access I mean it's not the most aesthetic thing in the world but that doesn't bother me too much because it's just quite inoffensive to be perfectly honest so yeah very happy I cannot wait for the bed frame to arrive I think it's just going to change this space so so much I'm so happy though with how much the bedside tables have changed it up already I think they are just looking really really nice and yeah really happy with this ah oh, it's all starting to come together there is nothing I love more in this flat than the afternoon light that we get in the living room. It just looks so magical when it starts streaming in. I absolutely love it. And also the rug is working out so, so well in here. I'm really, really enjoying how well it goes with like the beige tones and everything. And thank you very much for your help guys. I decided to go for option one and just keep the um, tray. I think we all agree the minimal vibe just kind of like works a little bit better there. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving how it looks. I think the living room is really coming together now. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, the next question is going to be with regards to this room and which chair I keep in here. So obviously the rattan chair was one that I used to have in here a little while ago before I moved into the bedroom. This is an Ikea one that I got and I'm really undecided which one to keep in here. Regardless of anything, I'm not gonna get rid of the rattan chair. One thing I do quite like about it is I can fold it up and put it away, but it is so pretty that I don't know if I want to put it away. Like I do really, really like it. Um, but I don't know whether the Ikea chair is just a bit more practical. I'm not entirely sure. In all honesty, it's not the comfiest chair in the world. So I'm not bothered about it in that sense. I have to keep this pillow there because it's such a like long chair in that sense. I need something on my back to, you know, kind of like support me because otherwise you've got to like really lean back on it. I think it's more of a, um, like a bedroom chair, you know, like a show chair than anything else. So I'm leaning towards the rattan and I do really, really like it next to the desk my one concern with the rattan chair is how well it goes with the sofa but i do actually have something to <laughs> talk to you about with regards to this so there are actually going to be some little changes that are going to be happening in here i know that obviously i change this room quite a lot um but as you guys know this is a room that i just really enjoy changing and really enjoy experimenting with and mixing about and everything like that and one thing that i have been thinking about recently is with regards to this sofa bed and mainly the colour. Now I don't think we're going to get rid of it anytime soon because obviously we do still need a sofa bed even though we've not had anyone staying for a very long time. Is that just in case? Like I don't want to get rid of it and then you know lockdown lifts and like we have people come to stay. So it's going to be staying but my biggest concern is mainly actually just the colour of it. I feel like it's very very pink and even though I like this room to be a little bit warmer, a bit more pinky toned, I find it's a bit much in like photos or videos and stuff like especially on my Instagram I don't think it goes so I often have to move it to be able to get my mirror shots so one thing that I have actually ordered which I'm going to experiment with I don't know if it's going to work and it's not going to be in this vlog I'll be doing it in another vlog is a sofa cover I've seen them online I've heard some positive things about them and I want to see if that would work just to cover this sofa so I've just bought a white sofa cover and then I can kind of like 
play about a bit more with pillows and stuff and make it work and like tie into the rest of the room that way rather than it being purely like it's a pink sofa there's not a lot you can do that like i'll probably still keep pink accents like the little pink knitted blanket but i just feel like it's a bit much so i want to see what the cover's going to look like on i think if it doesn't work i can just return it it only cost me about like 35 pounds off amazon um and i think it's quite a good way to like change things up without it being too expensive um or too much or anything sometimes i forget how good amazon is and actually speaking of amazon there is something i need to show you which literally arrived like the day after my last home vlog so i haven't had a chance to show you it in a vlog yet it is this little vase here is this not the cutest little booty vase i absolutely love it so if you guys know i love like you know silhouettes and like i love my booby candles and i love my booby pots and i love my like naked lady kind of things i just really really like that around the house i feel like it really goes well with my vibe and obviously there's the really gorgeous like big ones from selfridges but they're so expensive i can't remember the name of the brand and i saw them on a couple of people's instagram i fell in love followed the link and saw the price and went nope so way too much for me for especially something that i think at the end of the day it's quite a trend thing in five years time i probably i don't know i never say never but i probably won't have them in the house anymore i might be like over that um so anyway i was scrolling through amazon home and i saw this and i was like that is adorable now it's really really tiny so i think it works really really well i could put it on the shelves but i quite like it at the moment i've just been keeping it on my desk with like my books and just a few other like decorative pieces and i really really like it it's just a little like hips and bum and i just think it's so so cute it's got the little handles as well if you wanted to put some little maybe like daisies or something in it i think that would look adorable or even some pampas grass i think that's how they styled it up online with with like you know the bunny tail pampas grass which would look really really cute but i just love it i'll link it down below for you guys because it is the cutest thing in the world i i'm obsessed with it and it's from amazon home would you believe of all places amazon home <laughs> So yeah, things in this room are going to be changing up slightly, mainly with the sofa. I also have a few things which aren't in this vlog, but they are a part of the exciting things that I said that was happening and the exciting collaborations that I said that would be coming up. So make sure you subscribe. That will be coming fairly soon, which I'm really, really excited about. You guys know how much I just love love homeware um now i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with my paris print i do absolutely love it i think maybe i might put it back in front of the radiator but i don't know because it's a little bit taller i don't know if i can put it in front of there because it can like overheat and get a bit hot i'm not entirely sure um if not i'll probably just keep her maybe like out in the hallway or something because i do really really love that print i think it's so so gorgeous but yeah i feel like today has been a big day in terms of updates to give you and things that are going on around the flat as you guys know just having like a nice cozy feels like home kind of a flat is so so important to me obviously we're at home we're in lockdown and i just love it and i've also been really enjoying doing more interior posts on instagram I really feel like I found a bit of a forte with my interior posts and you guys seem to be enjoying them as well which is really really nice um, and I'm just I'm loving creating interior posts and I just I want to keep going and obviously this isn't the biggest flat in the world like I don't have the most amount of space to play about with so it's quite nice just to be able to make like lots of little changes and show you guys as well that you don't have to own the place for it to be homely like obviously we rent this flat which i don't think a lot of people know especially on instagram i always get questions about like my home and you know like, what wall would i paint what color and i'm like oh, i'm not really allowed to paint um so yeah i think a lot of people don't quite realize that but this is just a rented flat and it's something that I feel like we have really put a lot of effort in to make feel more like home and make feel more like our our own space and that is something that I'm just I'm really really proud of and I love being able to show you guys so yeah really excited about the changes that are happening especially in the bedroom because as I said it's a room that I have not liked for how long have we been in this flat like a year year and a bit now it's a room that i have not liked for a year and a bit and that's a long time to go but one thing i've definitely noticed with interiors is that it really does take time and even just like your taste and your style evolves and i think evolving with that is okay like making changes according to how your style is changing how your style is evolving is absolutely fine 
um, you know, like one thing that I kind of discovered in this flat is that it's okay for every room to be different. Like what I used to think before was that it all had to flow and it all had to like have the same kind of vibe. And I've realized that actually every room in this flat is gonna feel very, very different by the time I'm finished. Like the living room, we've got much more of like a neutral black and white, you know, creamy and kind of like beigey tones. In here it's much more like pinky and a little bit warmer and a bit more girly. And then in the bedroom it's now gonna be very like gray and monochromatic and calm. I actually have a um, post I've saved from the white company. I'll pop it here if I remember. Um, and I just like, like this is my inspo for what I want the bedroom to look like. And it's just making me quite excited for, you know, how it can look and how this flat can like end up feeling. So yeah i feel like i'm gonna leave this vlog here because there have been a lot of home updates to show you guys and update you on and i just love home updates they are just my favorite thing i feel like it's something i'm just so so passionate about at the moment so i'm hoping that you guys are loving the home vlogs as well and if you are as i said there is another home vlog that's gonna be coming in a couple of weeks that's got something very exciting involved with it so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Make sure you've got the notification bell on so you know when I upload so you don't ever miss a video. And I will see you guys in my next video.